Hello and welcome to our channel. Today, we're diving into a topic that's essential for financial security and peace of mind top 10 strategies for building an emergency fund. Life is full of surprises, and having a financial cushion can make all the difference during unexpected challenges. Whether it's a medical emergency, car repairs, or sudden job loss, an emergency fund is your safety net. So, if you're looking to build or boost your emergency fund, you're in the right place. But before we jump into these strategies, if you find value in this video, don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you never miss our latest financial tips and insights. Now let's secure your financial future. Number 1. The Importance of an Emergency Fund Before we delve into the strategies, let's understand why an emergency fund is crucial. It's like financial insurance against life's curveballs. Without one, you might end up relying on high-interest credit cards or loans, which can dig you into a financial hole. An emergency fund provides peace of mind, reduces stress during crises, and keeps you financially afloat. It acts as a financial cushion, ensuring that you can handle unexpected expenses without derailing your long-term financial goals. This fund isn't just about covering medical emergencies or car repairs, it's about safeguarding your financial stability, so you're prepared for whatever life throws your way. Number 2. Set a Clear Savings Goal Building an emergency fund begins with setting a clear savings goal. Experts often recommend having at least three to six months worth of living expenses saved up. However, your goal might vary based on factors like your job stability, family size, and financial obligations. Having a specific target helps you stay motivated and on track. Your goal acts as a guiding light, giving you a sense of purpose as you save. It's important to periodically review and adjust this goal as your circumstances change. Number three, create a budget. Budgeting is the cornerstone of any successful savings strategy, including building an emergency fund. Tracking your income and expenses helps you understand where your money is going and where you can make adjustments to save more. Creating a budget isn't about restricting yourself, but rather about gaining control over your finances. Start by listing your sources of income and all your monthly expenses, including rent or mortgage, utilities, groceries, transportation, and entertainment. Be thorough and honest about your spending habits. Number four, start small and be consistent. Don't be discouraged if you can't save a large sum immediately. Building an emergency fund is a marathon not a sprint. Starting small and being consistent is key. Even setting aside a small amount each week or month can add up over time. The most important thing is to make saving a habit. Consistency matters more than the initial amount you save. Consider it a financial exercise just as you wouldn't lift heavy weights right away at the gym. You don't need to save large sums right from the beginning. Begin with what you can comfortably afford. The habit of saving is more important than the size of your contributions. In fact, starting small can be less daunting and more sustainable. Number five, automate your savings. One of the most effective strategies is automating your savings. Set up an automatic transfer from your checking account to your emergency fund. Treating your savings like a non-negotiable bill ensures you prioritize it. Automation removes the temptation to spend the money earmarked for your emergency fund on discretionary purchases. It also ensures you never forget to save. By setting up this automatic transfer, you create a habit of consistent saving without having to think about it. It's a set it and forget it approach that puts your savings on autopilot. Number six, reduce unnecessary expenses. Identify areas in your life where you can cut back on unnecessary expenses. This might mean dining out less, canceling unused subscriptions, or finding more cost-effective alternatives. Every dollar you save can go toward your emergency fund. Reducing unnecessary expenses requires some introspection and creativity. Start by reviewing your monthly expenditures and identifying areas where you can trim costs without significantly impacting your quality of life. For instance, consider preparing meals at home rather than dining out frequently. You'll not only save money but also gain more control over the nutritional content of your meals. Another option is to evaluate your entertainment subscriptions. Number 7 windfalls and bonuses put unexpected windfalls like tax refunds or work bonuses directly into your emergency fund since you weren't counting on this money for your regular expenses 
it's a great way to boost your savings quickly. Windfalls are those unexpected financial blessings that come your way. It could be a tax refund, a bonus at work, or even a generous gift. While it might be tempting to treat yourself with these funds, consider directing a portion, if not all, into your emergency fund. This windfall money gives your savings a significant boost without impacting your day-to-day -day budget. It's an excellent opportunity to accelerate your progress toward your savings goal. Think of it as a financial gift from the universe, one that can provide immense peace of mind when you face unexpected expenses in the future. Number 8. Side Hustles and Extra Income Consider exploring side hustles or part-time gigs to supplement your income. The extra money you earn can be a game-changer for your emergency fund. It's also an excellent way to diversify your income sources. In today's gig economy, there are countless opportunities to earn extra income outside of your regular job. Whether it's freelancing, consulting, driving for rideshare services, or selling handmade crafts online, side hustles can significantly boost your earnings. The beauty of side gigs is that you can tailor them to your skills, interests, and schedule. Not only do they provide an additional stream of income, but they also offer flexibility. The income from side hustles can be directed straight into your emergency fund, allowing you to save more without affecting your primary source of income. Additionally, side hustles can be a great way to explore your passions and talents while improving your financial security. Number 9. Separate Account for Your Emergency Fund Keep your emergency fund in a separate savings account. This separation reduces the temptation to dip into it for non-emergencies. It also makes it easier to track your progress. While it might be tempting to keep your emergency fund in the same account as your regular savings, it's wise to create a dedicated account. This separation serves several purposes. Firstly, it helps you maintain clarity about the purpose of the funds. When your emergency fund is mixed with your regular savings, you might be more inclined to use it for non-emergencies. Having a separate account reinforces the idea that this money is set aside exclusively for unexpected, urgent expenses. Secondly, it streamlines your record keeping. Tracking your progress toward your savings goal is simpler when your emergency fund is in its own account. You can easily monitor your balance and see how close you are to reaching your target. Consider looking for a savings account with a competitive interest rate to maximize the growth of your emergency fund over time. Number 10. Financial Windfalls and Tax Refunds Whenever you receive unexpected financial windfalls like a tax refund or a generous gift, consider directing a portion of it into your emergency fund. These windfalls can significantly boost your savings. Windfalls come in various forms. It could be a sizable tax refund a monetary gift from a family member, or even a financial award. While it's tempting to allocate these funds toward immediate wants or indulgences, it's wise to prioritize your long-term financial security. Consider funneling a portion of these windfalls directly into your emergency fund. This strategy allows you to save a substantial amount in one go, accelerating your progress toward your savings goal. The beauty of using windfalls for your emergency fund is that you weren't counting on this money for your regular expenses. It's a financial bonus that can provide a significant safety net. Likewise, if you receive an annual tax refund, you can choose to allocate a portion of it toward your emergency fund. By doing so, you're harnessing the power of unexpected financial blessings to enhance your financial security. So, there you have it, the top 10 strategies for building a robust emergency fund. Remember, financial security is not a luxury, it's a necessity. An emergency fund is your shield against life's uncertainties, offering stability and peace of mind. Choose the strategies that work best for your unique financial situation. Your future self will thank you for it. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to hit the like button, share it with others, and subscribe for more valuable financial advice. Thank you for joining us, and here's to your financial well-being.